Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 31st LAMP tutorial. Um, if you've been following along, we left off with the error, with PHP error handling, which is all fine and dandy, but uh, it just seems to be lacking compared to other languages. So we could go into PHP exemptions, but there's a little caveat here. We have to learn object-oriented programming. You see this little chunk of code, throw new exemption. What does that mean? Well, in order to actually get to this tutorial, um, W3Schools has actually skipped an entire section called Object-Oriented Programming. So that's what we're going to be covering. Quick flip into the uh, PHP manual here. And you see that starting with PHP 5, the object model was rewritten to allow better performance and more features. This was a major change from PHP 4. PHP 5 has full object model. What in the world are they talking about? Objects and models and all this other stuff. Well, basically, we've been doing procedural programming, meaning you write some code and it just goes straight down like a procedure. Object-oriented programming is you create objects and then those objects you can interact with and those objects can interact with other objects, etc., etc. So the coming tutorials, we're going to talk about, you guessed it, object-oriented programming using PHP 5. Let's go into the basics here. The simplest way to explain object-oriented programming is you have to have a class. Now what is a class? You're going to see this a lot in the coming tutorials. But a class is just a blueprint. And we're not going to actually write any code in this tutorial. I'm just talking here. This is just theory. Um, the boring lecture part that nobody likes. But um, you got to understand this stuff. So a class is a blueprint. An object is an instance of that blueprint. Now let me explain it a little differently here. Let's say a class is a blueprint, like a cat. Okay, just a generic cat. Could be your cat, could be my cat, could be anything. It's just, you look up in the dictionary, cat. That's a class. An object would be my cat or your cat. In other words, it's a specific instance of that class, that blueprint. A better way of putting it, um, and this is kind of how it really stuck with me about 20 some odd years ago, is uh, think of a class as a blueprint for a house. An object is the actual house, you know, once the house is built, but the class is just the blueprint. Now you kind of understand here. So why do we create objects? Well, it's called encapsulation. Basically, you can create a class and then put things in the class. You can see the structure here, class, name of the class is called simple class, and then public, we haven't discussed this yet, and there's a variable name, and then the value, and then a function inside of this, but it's just normal PHP code. A lot of this may look foreign to you, and like I said, we're gonna be covering all of this, so don't worry. But you can see how you can have multiple classes. There's class A, class B. And then you can do things with them. So you have a the variable a, unless you're from Canada, then it's a, um, equals new, meaning you're creating an instance. This is the difference here. This is a class, a blueprint, new, instance of that class. Technically, it's reversed. This is your variable, so that would be the instance, and this would be the class or the blueprint. So think of it this way, object, blueprint. Once you have an instance, then you can go ahead and do things. For example, the a variable, and then we got this arrow here, and then we're calling foo. Well, what is foo? Well, foo is a function inside of the class. I know it sounds a little confusing, and we're going to go over some very simple examples in the next tutorial, um, but really all you need to understand at this point is the difference between a class and an object. Because I see people, even out in the real world, making good money that don't understand the difference between a class and an object. Just remember, a class is a blueprint, an object is an instance of that blueprint. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I know it was rather short, but very important that you understand that concept. And we're going to really dive real deep into this, and we're going to learn object-oriented programming inside and out. All right? Look forward to seeing you in the next one.